Recording so, in progress. Sat Nam, everyone. It's Candace from Soulfire Social. What a pleasure to see you today. A little cool on the island this morning, but we'll take it. It's a beautiful fall day. So have a lovely, uh, lovely experience for you today. I'm very excited to share it, but let's go ahead and we'll get tuned in. And then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the theme of our class today. So hands down on the knees. Let's go ahead and close the eyes and allow ourselves to visualize that root in the base of the spine, the root chakra, red earth, Connecting down, our own connection down through the Earth Star, down to the center of Mother Earth, tapping into that beautiful life-giving energy and allowing us to just really sit down and feel that as kind of the foundation of your posture, the roots that are holding up this beautiful tree, strong, connected, right here, right now. and as you start to feel into that connection, then start to really stretch up through the spine, come back into awareness of the physical body inside of you, that sacral, the pelvis, and pulling up from the base, and almost as if you could count through the 26 vertebra, pull up slow from the base, paying particular attention through that whole lumbar spine, as if you could separate each of the vertebra maybe a little bit of a wiggle as we come into a better alignment. We pull up through then into the belly, up through the thoracic spine as we start to reach up, feeling it into the back of the body, into the ribs, and then up into the cervical spine as we reach the crown up and we tilt the chin gently down. The awareness of the breath follows and we feel into the expansion and contraction of the body with the flow of prana. Breathing in and out through the nose, allowing that prana to flow into any spaces of stale energy. Allowing the prana to make its way not just to the front of the body but the back of the body all the way deeply down into the belly and with that awareness and that presence we bring our hands to touch in front of the body and we begin to rub the hands, allowing ourselves to create warmth and to create heat. We bring that heat into our prayer pose, thumbs connecting at the sternum, fingers pointing up and out, strong posture, this Anjali Mudra. And we tune in with the Adi Mantra, Ang Namo, Guru Dev Namo, followed by the Mangala Charn for protection, raising our voices together in vibration to elevate ourselves. So we take a cleansing breath in through the nose. Great big sigh out. And we inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru
jugad gurin me jugad gurin me sat gurin me sire gurudev me ad gurin me jugad gurin me sat gurin me sire gurudev me ad gurin me jugad gurin me sat gurin me sire gurudev me inhale and hold allowing yourself to feel into your connection your vibration releasing the breath letting the prayer open into a lotus flower letting the elbows drop and allowing that beautiful lotus flower that cup of the flower placing in there anything that's on your mind that we need to just lift up and give up for our practice so that we can be fully present any worries any concerns any to do's we want to be present right here right now and so we fill up this little cup at our heart and on the next inhale we lift it up and we give it up to God goddess divine and you just lift it up and hold allowing yourself to just be free for 90 minutes of anything that's troubling you. And we turn the hands out and then on the exhale we sweep our field, clearing our space of any unwanted energy. So it's just us radiating out into our beautiful field as we begin our practice. The fingertips touch and we allow ourselves to feel into that sensation of grounding to the mother, opening up our heart and flow and connection to higher consciousness. And go ahead and stay right there, holding on to the earth, breathing. I want you to just breathe in and out and in and out and I'm going to read you the theme of our class today is based on a mantra ang a n g sung s a n g wahe guru the translation of this mantra is the dynamic loving energy of the infinite source of all is dancing in every cell of me. I'll repeat. The dynamic loving energy of the infinite source of all is dancing within every cell of me. Ong means part. Song is in every, with every. Wahe Guru, the indescribable living ecstasy of infinite being. The whole phrase, the infinite being God, the divine is within me and it vibrates in every molecule. Chanting this mantra synchronizes the finite sense of self to infinite oneness. I'll talk a little bit more about it as we bring it into the practice through our breathing, through our chanting, and certainly into our movement. We're going to start off with a pranayama that is to conquer our shortcomings. So we bring our hand, arms out. Sorry, you might have to adjust yourselves. Good morning. Bring your arms out. The palms are down. So make space for yourself. Then take the right hand and I want you to watch. You're going to be coming here, bringing the hand here and then you kind of create a little cup like you're scooping up water and it's like you're bringing it to your mouth and then out and it's a and we're going to be I believe sorry and we make our lips into an O so we sip it up here and then it's an exhale through the nose okay and you're gonna close 
the eyes and we're going to start off slow and then we're going to speed it up and be breathing heavily moving the hands powerfully let's just start off slow conquering our shortcomings the lips into an O, out the nose, start to make it stronger, the breath,
your collarbone, feel it down to your toes. as you press the hands into the chest, reaching up through the crown. Press, press, press. We're gonna exhale with a cannon fire out the mouth. Two more times, inhale deeply. Hold the breath, stretch the spine, press into your heart center. Great big cannon breath. Inhale one more time. All the way, take an extra sip with rounded lips. Press into your beautiful heart reach your crown up. What color is your thousand petaled lotus on your crown today? Oh. You are perfection. Can of breath out. Three long deep breaths. yourself to bring your hands up to your skull. We're going to put our thumbs in our ears. Our elbows are out. We are working again our, our lymphatic system today. So I want you to think about these beautiful guardians of our health as we get into fall and winter season. We want to make sure that our lymphatic system is so strong and those lymph glands don't have their own pressure button. So everything we do today helps to activate, clear, and cleanse the glands under the armpits and the lungs and the throat, all throughout the body and the groin. So we're going to inhale left, exhale center today. Inhale to the right, exhale center. We're going to start off slow, get the full twist. Eye focus is on the third eye. Let's begin. Inhale left, exhale center. There's no tension in the jaw. Your 
eye focus firmly on the third eye. See if you can move a little faster. of the heart center giving receiving we want to find this equanimity within us not only the light and dark in our bodies the masculine and feminine but also our connection from our hearts here on the physical plane up to the divine let's inhale hold the breath squeeze up mula bandha really pull up anus sex organs everything gets pulled up and in navel comes back towards the spine activating your own Shakti, divinely feminine energy, inviting it to rise. We want to clear and ignite ourselves back into mind, body, spirit, flow, hold. As you're squeezing, start to raise the hands up, direct the energy, reach, 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 feel it through the armpits. All the way up, 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 up. Stretch more than you think you can. On the exhale, sweep your field slow. Total control. Total control. Down, we reach. Let the palms, let the entire palm hit the earth. Feel into it as you reach that crown up two long deep breaths allowing yourself to feel into the effects of the posture hold on to the earth below. I want you to feel into your pinky finger. Your pinky finger, that's your mercury. It's connected to your ability to communicate. Speaking the truth, hearing the truth. So we raise our hands and we touch our thumbs to the pinky mound. And we bring our elbows down. And we're going to be exhale, inhaling up, Exhaling down, and each of the arms gonna come out about 60 degrees. Yep, perfect. You guys all have space. <laughs> and I want you to feel the elbow clip the lower ribs as it comes in. It's powerful. This is like a super, super strong movement. And it becomes like a breath of fire out the nose. <laughs>
fire, stronger. Up and down, we go faster now. Visualize the rising of the Kundalini up, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue with that throat chakra. Activate it. Indigo, third eye, purple crown. Reach, 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 reach. Flip the palms down, release the mudra, sweep. Exhale, let go of the belly, let go of the lock. Palms touch the earth, open through the root chakra, connecting to the vibration of the planet beneath you, reaching the crown up towards the heavens. Three long deep breaths. into this belief and sensation that every cell that we have is vibrating with the light of the divine. We have to get over, conquer those thoughts of shortcomings and come into awareness of our beautiful perfection and our own uniqueness, our individuated divinity, knowing that everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, make us perfectly imperfect. Take another deep inhale in through the nose. Extra sip through rounded lips. Great big sigh out. Bring your hands down. Palms are up on the knees. And just whatever it is that you think you are not good enough at doing, being who you are, we are getting rid of that. 
any thoughts of shortcomings. We're going to be lifting up the weight, O-shaped mouth, up, over, drop it back, and then we exhale through the nose and we come back down. The hands don't have to touch these. Let me just make sure, I want to make sure the exhale is every breathing. Okay, sorry, it's all out through the mouth. So it's in, and then it's out through the mouth too. All right, we're gonna find some, it says we, wants us to roar like a lion. I have to admit, I always find it difficult to roar like a lion with the O, but it says it should be, sound should become like a lion's roar. So if you can find your inner roar, let's do it. I mean, and yeah. And the elbows can bend a little as they come up so you can really toss anything behind you you need. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, 
Send that down. Thank you. Thank you. And we raise up in our vibration as we come even more into love and gratitude. Another big breath in. Fill yourself as if you could breathe love in your heart. Breathe love in your vibration. Radiate that out. As we exhale, boom, gratitude. Raise even higher. more posture seated if you need to stretch your legs out in front of you I'm just gonna do that for a second just for a little release then we're gonna be moving our legs I promise you we're not gonna feel lopsided today okay we're gonna come back your arms are gonna be a little tired after this one but we're doing it thumbs come back to the pinky mound and we make those fists make sure you guys have space the movement is this, down about a foot. So I'm holding down, down about a foot, and then, so it comes back, and then we go down, up. So it's down, down, up. Down, down, up, okay? And you're gonna find your rhythm with this, the palms facing down. Let me just get a different, let me put this here. Okay, we're gonna do Okay, let's get going. Down, down. You're breathing out the nose. And I want you to feel this in your armpits when you reach up. It should be a full reach up. Make sure your posture is great. Your, your chin is tilted down. This is going to get all the lymph glands in those armpits and the chest. You're going to feel it. Let's go. Find a breath that works for you with this. Make it move with your movement. Oh yeah, perfect. Done powerfully. It becomes automatic. The breath will carry you through. You'll breathe into every pore of your body. Sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system comes into balance. So as if you drink 
drink a lot of coffee, this can get difficult because coffee affects your nervous system. So if you go into that. chakra maybe a few slow and then speed it up four minutes let's go visualize as you're breathing 
breathing and moving, that you're flipping all of the energy from the lower triangle up into the upper, balancing the sexual energy. Go. Coming into balance. and just hold the posture, breathe into all of the space below the heart. Exhale with a great big sigh, clear. Ah. Now deep inhale into that lower triangle. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, activating. And now start to lift up and over. Let all of the ohas from that second chakra come up and over with the kundalini to balance us. Hold and squeeze. And release. Drop back down. Try and keep the eyes closed. You're going to come on to your back. And just take a moment. Lie flat out. Let your lower back connect with the earth. Three long deep breaths. Just all the way to the toes, all the way to the crown, to the fingertips. Visualizing, creating balance, prana, chakras, energy in the body. No area is too heavy, too weak. Coming into equanimity inside so we can radiate that balance out. Oh, 
your line here, I'm going to describe what we're going to be doing for the next four minutes. So for three minutes, we are going to be rising up into a shoulder stand and doing a bicycle there. If a shoulder stand is not good for you or for your cervical spine, just place a bolster underneath your buttocks, lift up your legs, or just raise the legs up. You can be like this. But after we do the bicycle, I'm gonna show you now so I don't have to interrupt. If I'm up doing a bicycle for three minutes, I'm gonna be here. Then the next minute, I'm coming into a plow and I'm scissoring my legs here. Scissoring kind of low, down by my plow. Obviously this can be done where you can do your bicycle here and then you can just kind of lift up and scissor where you need, but otherwise we're doing a plow. It's such an interesting thing. Alternate, yeah, you're all, oh, sorry. I didn't describe that last part very quickly, my bad. So if I'm up doing my bicycle and then I come down into my plow, the last minute is actually scissoring the toes as I touch. So that's pretty intense, okay? So don't worry, that can be this. Or if you're up here, you can just come back as far as you can and do that. Or again, from here, and then you could just maybe lift up a bit and do that. So let's find what's best for you. Once you get into the position, don't turn your head to look at me. You wanna find it and be comfortable because that's how you hurt your cervical spine. Your chin should be tucked towards your chest. Okay, got it. Shoulder stand with a bicycle, let's go.
breath, squeeze, slowly start to lift up into your shoulder stand. Use your beautiful strength. Reach those toes up towards the sky, squeezing in Mula Bandha, pulling in the navel, lighting up from the root to the crown. We just gave every lymph gland in the groin beautiful squeezes. And we slowly, vertebra by vertebra, on the release, you protect your back with your hands, as you slowly release, you can bend the knees if you need. Let yourself roll back down to the earth. Let your legs come out straight. Let your palms open up. Corpse pose for just a moment. Allow yourself to just settle into that balance. More deep breaths right here, in and out. Prana in, prana out. You bring your knees up to the chest when you're done and rock a bit from side to side, releasing any tension in the lower spine. Make some circles, just letting sure there's no tension. I want you to feel good in the lower back. Allow those adrenal glands to have a little massage sitting above the kidneys. And keeping the eyes closed, I want you to rock your way up into seated position. And then we're going to bring our left hand out in front of the heart, the elbow is out. And then the right hand comes over and the right palm comes on the back of the left hand and we create this little kind of space right here. Now, close the eyes and start to breathe in that posture. There is pressure from the right hand onto the left. We're going to be chanting for one minute in a monotone Har, which is the divine God, Guru, calling on enlightenment. Siri, third eye, we tap in, Guru, tapping into our intuition. Wahe, Guru, so it's Ha, Guru, Siri, Guru, Wahe, Guru. We'll breathe and then we'll just start with that. It's only one minute. Let me just get our timer here. Sorry, I'm not, gonna, not good at counting when I'm chanting. All right, so in our monotone. Ha guru, siri guru, wahe guru. 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 Har 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 Guru, Siri Guru, Wahe Guru. Ha Guru, Siri Guru, Wahe Guru. One more. Ha Guru, 
ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਟੇਕ ਇਨ ਇਨਹੇਲ ਹੋਲਡ ਦਾ ਬ੍ਰੈਥ ਹੋਲਨ ਮੁਲਬੰਦਾ ਬਿਟ ਹੀਅਰ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਟੈਪ ਇਨਟੂ ਦਾ ਐਨਰਜੀ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਮੰਤਰਾ release the breath and the lock and i want you to hold the same posture we're going to make a moving meditation out of this so when we chant ha guru we come one third down now siri guru two thirds down on wahe guru the hands touch and the head comes to the ground if you can or put a bolster in front of you So it's going to be a Har Guru Siri Guru Wahe Guru inhale up Har Guru Siri Guru Wahe Guru everyone can go at their own pace we don't all have to be in alignment it's 6 minutes we're going to find our way with this moving meditation calling on enlightenment and bliss opening up the third eye if you need to be on your knees you can do that too um if that's a better posture than this feel free but we're not going to listen to music we're going to do this all on our own let's begin together ha guru siri guru wahe guru 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 har guru siri guru wahe guru har guru siri guru wahe guru if you can have the back of the hands hit when they go down har guru siri guru wahe guru the third eye and the back of the palms har guru siri guru wahe guru 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 Ha 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 Guru Siri Guru Wahe Guru Har Guru Siri Guru Wahe Guru Har Guru Siri Guru 
Wahe Guru, Har Guru, Siri Guru, 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 Wahe Guru. 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 Har Guru, Siri Guru. Wahe Guru Har Guru Siri Guru 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 Wahe Guru Har Guru, Siri Guru, Wahe Guru. 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 Har Guru, Siri Guru, Wahe Guru, one more. Har Guru, Siri Guru, Wahe Guru, stay down. Take an inhale, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, and slowly rise up. Pulling in through the navel, pressure right palm onto the back of left perfect your posture as you rise up you are still squeezing and holding reach that crown up gazing from the third eye shift it up to the crown like you're looking up through the tenth gate up to the heavens holding everything within that beautiful mantra and slow release of everything keep the eyes closed Lie on your backs, cover yourselves, and just be in that vibration. Be in that beautiful vibration. And as you lie back, taking in these words. Aung Sung Wahe Guru, bringing inner peacefulness, dynamic loving energy of the infinite whatever that means to you consciousness divinity is dancing in every limb and every cell so breathe it in individual consciousness merges with universal consciousness 
let your individual consciousness merge with universal consciousness. Experience that you are not alone. The infinite is with you and divine presence will help to relieve and unburden you with fears or loneliness. Aung San Wakhe Guru.
take a deep breath in. Bringing prana into every cell, white golden light, just lighting you up. You're in flow, you're connected above and below. Exhale, every breath now just fills you up. And you expand your light out into your field. And start to move the toes, the fingers. Bring your arms up over your head and give yourself a big stretch as you breathe into your heart space. up to your chest and give yourself a hug and rock over into the fetal posture allowing yourself three long deep breaths just like a complete reboot control alt delete shifting up from where we began into this flow and allowing yourself that moment of rebirth after the three breaths sitting up keeping the eyes closed but coming back to me with your hands in the lotus mudra at the heart chant in. Invite that divinity into every cell to honor it, to light it up even further. You'll find your own flow as you chant Aung San, Wahe Guru. We raise up as we did at the beginning, this beautiful flower up to the heavens. We clear our field. for you this lotus flowering with love and peace it's your connection it's your expansion it's what you need it to be to feel in flow and your own beautiful divinity
slide our hands onto our heart as we close our session with the Long Time Sunshine song. Keep that connection as we sing for ourselves. We open our palms in the second round to sing for each other. And we raise our hands up in the third round to share our love and light with the collective or to anyone in need. Close with our sat noms in our highest truth. Truth is my name. Truth is my divinity. Deep inhale, prayer up to the heavens, holding the breath. Male beings know peace. Male yoga practice contribute to the well being of all. We exhale, bringing our prayer through the chakras. Please join me. Peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. Bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky, blessing you and your prayers. And may we rise up celebrating our individuated divinity in our truth so we can radiate that out for everyone that we come in contact with today. Satna. 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 And I will just say, Miss Devananda. We lost Diane a little bit in there, but um, I am so sorry we were laughing. Well, hold on, let me, Satnam, I'll press stop the recording.